Hey, what's up, guys and gals? Welcome to another episode on this SFML game development series. So finally, yes, I'm I'm back to do some coding. And in the next couple episode, what we did was we uh, made a window, a stable window at that. So uh, yeah, this is the window that we made. It had a black color. And in this episode, what we're going to do is we're finally gonna get the paddles for our pong game. Uh, this paddle right here, these two paddles that go up and down so uh, so that our ball is inside of our um, uh, window, the very basic uh, paddles like this one. So as you can see that these paddles are of a rectangle shape and whenever we have to draw a rectangle shape onto a screen, SFML has made it really easy. All we have to do is there is a class called in the SF namespace of course called a rectangle shape. Yeah, rectangle shape and this basically allows us to do all the, our rectangle drawing and all the rectangle color fill and the position and things like that and, and I'm just gonna name it bar one okay because there are two bars so I'm gonna make another one rectangle shape and I'm going to call this bar two so let's create a function here the first function is gonna be similar for all the initialization of our bars so uh, void init bars and then and another function is of course we have to update the bars because because uh, because remember we have to use the key keyboard to control the bars so I'm going to make another function called void update bars and the, the render function is just going to be in charge of just rendering the bars so let's go to our game.cpp and get the uh, function uh, set up here so void init bars was the first function and the next was void update void from the game class update bars awesome so again so any bar is going to be responsible for the initialize on the bar so I'm, I'm going to make a little comment here for left bar for left bar and for the oops, for the right bar there you go so uh, the left bar is uh, it's going to be bar one bar one is going to be left first so we're going to do bar one dot set fill color of course it's going to be it's going to be um, sf color uh, white as you saw in the picture and uh, it's going to have bar one dot set size and the set size function just uh, by the name it sets the size and this takes in a sf vector to f now don't need to be really confused here vector 2f in sfml you know the uh, the name vector has a lot of definitions uh, depending on where you go in physics and mathematics even in computer graphics there's a bit there's a bit different uh, meanings of vector but in sfml this vector just means just the uh, two two data or two integers or in, or in this case two flows just like this uh, for example I'm going to show you right here just like this so this is a vector just four comma zero this uh, vector that re that represents a coordinate axis a posi position in the coordinate axis that's basically what a vector is in this context so on the set sides now we have to give the coordinates of our window so coordinate axis in SFML is a bit different the zero zero the origin point is at the top left so this is the zero zero if you if you have a window right here this the top left is zero zero and as we go down the the y-axis increases until it's re it reaches the height of our window and the x-axis increases when going to the right until it reaches the width of the window so there's a bit of difference right here as, uh, as compared to what you will what you were learning in your school but it's not uh, that big difference so and you guys will be able to get uh, and you guys will be able to get the hang of it as you practice so the size I want is uh, uh, let's see the size is uh, some size right here I'm just gonna make it so for first is the width size so I'll make it around 50 flow the width and then the height is gonna be around 100 right there so it's gonna be a bit uh, taller and a bit thin and tall and bar one does set position sets the position takes in a vector so vector 2f again so we want to place our game uh, the bar somewhere around here so I think what we have to do is we have to go a bit like uh, around 70 in the X and around let's say around 150 on the Y let's l let's try that so 70 in the X axis we're gonna go 150 on the Y axis okay 
nice uh, let's try this let's see if that is uh, good or not we do window dot draw bar one let's see if that is uh, what you want uh, okay it didn't draw what happened there oh yeah we haven't called the init bar let's uh, in, in our constructor let's call the init bars of course we have to call our functions that's obvious all right uh, okay so uh, all right so first of all it's the bar is a bit uh, thick so we have to uh, cut it around in half yeah yeah exactly in half and I think it should be a bit around the yeah 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 okay I got it so the set size should be around the X should be around 30 yeah 30 is gonna be enough the height is okay position is going to be 50 on the X and we're gonna go 225 this should be really the spot what we are looking for and yup this is the best so uh, this is we're gonna go uh, for our left bar and for our right bar we're gonna again I think yeah I'm just gonna copy paste this guy it's gonna be really easy if we do that copy this and paste the bar so the bar one we're gonna go bar two bar two the cephal color is gonna be white size is gonna be same just the position is gonna be changing and remember guys we're pa we're passing in floating point values is because our vector the vector that these set size and set position accepts is vectored to f okay so we should be passing a function what we're going to put in is going to go width minus and around the 50 it's going to be around the 100 point f now if we, if we try to see if this works or not well of course we haven't drawn the bar yet maybe that's what we should need to do so window draw bar 2 Yeah, it should be a bit, a bit down and a bit there. Okay, so with uh, minus one hundred, maybe. Wait, uh, with minus fifty, minus what's the size of the player. Uh, the size of thirty. So uh, thirty. Okay, now I'll tell you why I did that later. Wait, it's coming. And uh, suppose we need to draw bar two, and then it should be a bit uh, down. Yeah, two fifty five. Yeah, two twenty five. Two twenty five. Awesome. Awesome. There we go. Awesome. So around eighty was enough. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically what it would be awesome. Okay. Yeah, so that's basically uh, all that is to drawing in our window in SFML. SFML made it really easy for us to draw to the window. And uh, yeah, that's all for this video. Uh, stay tuned for more videos that are coming. And the next video we're going to be doing is a key a keystrokes where we, uh, like if we uh, get the uh, W key and the S key is going to control the left bar and the uh, arrow keys are going to control the right bar. Yeah, and that's what we're going to do in the next video. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and stay tuned. Bye.